Hi everyone, the first parts of the tank are already here, but first let me tell you that today's video is sponsored by NordVPN and I'm super happy about that because I've been using NordVPN for more than two years now and what happened is that I was going to go to China and I started searching for something that would let me use my my usual suspects there, like my YouTube, WhatsApp and, and everything. And I wanted something that was reliable, that was easy to use, that worked on my Android phone, my iPad, my Mac computer. And well, there was only one solution that ticked all the boxes, and it was NordVPN. And since then, I have it installed on all my devices. Why? Because it is safe. Whenever you go to a coffee shop, you go to a different country, you connect to some friend's Wi-Fi, like you don't know who has been hacked, so it's better to be safe. Go to nordvpn.com slash Ivan Miranda, check the link on the description, and you can use the code Ivan Miranda to get 75% off of a three-year plan in one month for free. And now let me remove all of this from the table because we need something else in here. Okay, this is the old tank thread, the big one. And these in here are links of the mini tank that were, well, they were not so mini because they are the same size. These are the links of the new mega tank, which are evidently bigger. And I tried to create a very clever mechanism for the pins to be joined. Like, we, we had an issue with the pin and lock mechanism, like we have to put something in the middle to act as a pin and something that will keep it inside. So I devised this. Let me, let me make it a little bit more, more clear. As you can see, the hole in here is not round. It's a little bit elongated vertically because there is only one position where you can fit the pin inside here. So what I did is more or less this. As you can see, there is, there is kind of a curve in here. And the thing is that there is an elongated hole in here, which makes it only align when the pins are bent 90 degrees like this, which is a position that the threads should never reach when working. That way you just insert the pin when you are assembling the threads and then do this and never have to worry about it again because this part and the part in here that is inside are not aligned which should work okay but once i did like prototyping prototyping is is important and this is the first complete test where i didn't do any other mistakes like like not being a hole in there for example <laughs> Well, if you watch closely, I will, I will try to let you see this. Okay, in here, you get the pin through this hole in here. You move it all the way to the end and then, then flatten the links and you have a pin that is locked inside because there is now a wall in here that will not allow it to go out. So the pin is effectively in here, but that means there is no pin crossing in here. And the force is applied to the threads through these outer pins in here. So if you do this, you can see that it completely opens. So it was a very clever solution that I will not be able to use. So this one, among the other mistakes that I did is that there was not enough clearance between the links. And as you can see in this video in here, now there is enough clearance that will allow me to print the parts side by side without interlocking and are removed from the bed this easily. So if all those parts are the bad ones, where are the good ones? The good ones are here! That's not half, that's not a fourth, 
that's more like an eighth of what we need. Oh, let me let me organize it a bit. Okay, let me let me give you some some figures on this. We have in here 125 and 130, two meters and 55 centimeters of big tank threads of 3D printed big tank threads. <laughs> so let's see if the if the tank is going to be effectively 1.7 meters long and the tracks are going to be a little bit longer plus the slopes, I reckon that we are going to need 1.8 times 2, 3.6 times 2, 7.2 meters. So there's still a lot of printing to do. And the pitch of these threads is 35 millimeters. So these threads will require 205 links of which we have printed 73. So we are a little bit more than one fourth in. And one of these links, and one of these links weighs 61 grams, which means that in this table there are 4.4 kilograms of PLA and that the trucks will weigh 12.5 kilos, more than six kilos each, only the trucks, and without taking into account the pins. By the way, did I did I talk you about the about the pins? Okay, let's see let's see what I came up with. Give me a second. We were searching for a solution that was that was strong, that was rust resistant, and was easy to fabricate. So this is what I came up with. And this is electrical fish tape. This is used to pass wires through electrical conduits. And it's extremely hard. Uh, it's uh, quite frictionless. And it's really easy to cut to length. Well, not that easy, it's, it's pretty hard, but well, you can, you can cut it to length. Uh, so this is what we are going to use. So let me check what is the exact length that we'll need and let me cut a lot of them. This seems to be the length of pin that we require, almost 180 millimeters. By the way, the tracks are going to be 200 millimeters wide. <laughs> and it seems that, well, one pin weighs around two grams. So let me cut a lot of this and I'll be happy. Of course, I will have to repeat the cut because I didn't take into account the width of the tool.
well, those were 50, 89 pins in more or less 15 minutes. Not that bad, I remember how, how long did it take to make the old ones. This is a really, really nice improvement. So, thumbs up for this little contraption in here. This one will be saved for the next time that I have to make pins, which will be soon. And five new links appeared from one of the printers. So, so there is only one thing left for me to show you, that is how we keep the pins in place. Well, the pins will hopefully stay in place with this. These are two by 10 millimeter screws that will go in this, in this hole in here. But there is a hole in here. So once the pin has gone all the way in, the screw goes in this hole in here and will not let the pin to slide out again. So let's try and assemble the entire thread and see how it goes. I could it it is pretty heavy oh my god this thing is is going to be huge like you see it you see it on the on the on fusion 360 you see the model you see the parts you put them on the printer but then you see it in real life and and you realize that you've lost it. <laughs> How cool is this going to be? Come on. Woo. And I know, I know you are going to tell me you should coat the, the, the surfaces with some rubbery thing, but I don't want this to grip on the on hard floors because it will destroy the tank by the, the stresses put on it. I need it, I need this to slide and and when they are on sand or, or dirt or something, or something like that, they, they will have enough grip due to the, to the crevices and, and all of it. So don't worry too much about grip. Tanks, tanks turn by, by sliding, so that's, that's going to be fine. Don't, don't worry. And don't forget to be safe on the internet, NordVPN. will keep you safe in coffee shops, uh, airport Wi-Fi's, public Wi-Fi's, and even in your own home, it will let you go through the internet in another country. For example, I'm in Spain, and if I want to browse the internet as if I were in Canada, I just pop up in the Canada servers of NordVPN there, and I can browse the internet as if I were there, which is pretty cool. You know, not everything is available everywhere. So don't forget to go to the link on the description, nordvpn.com slash Ivan Miranda and use the promo code Ivan Miranda to get your 75% off of a three year plan in one month for free. It's a limited offer, so don't forget and go check it now. And well, that's it for this week. As you can imagine, this took ages to print, this took ages to, to build. Uh, the, new, the new contraption to make the, the new contraption to make the pins work beautifully, it was really quick to make them with this thing in here, but I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to do another tank video next week because everything takes ages to print. And well, as you know, all this filament comes from a printer pro, send them some love because they are going to make this tank huge and awesome. And I've heard that there is a new big shipment of filament coming my way, so thanks a printer pro. And well, that's it for this week. Please leave me, leave me your feedback in the comments. We still have some, some margin of maneuver. We, we can still change some things if you foresee them now. So 
tell me in the comments. And well, thanks a lot for sharing my videos. Please share them all over the place because that helps a lot. And like them, click the notification button, subscribe. I'm making a tank. And now please go and make something. Oh, and thanks to all of you for supporting this channel on Patreon. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. You could be there or even watch these episodes earlier from time to time.